I was uh, in, in my office and uh, um, I wasn't in this house and at that point, I was in a different house and um, I was writing papers for grad school and my phone rings and this lady's on the other end of the line and she says, hey, Michael Bay's looking for a former SEAL, uh, you know, help out on this movie, are you available tomorrow? And I was just like, sure, Michael Bay, yeah, I'll do it. And then uh, she told me to send her some pictures not, I didn't have headshots, I just had regular pictures, so I sent them to her and she was like, hey, you're, you're, you're on. And then next day I'm on set with Michael Bay and Josh Dumel and I'm shooting a, shooting a scene for Transformers <laughs> last night and uh, uh, it was just supposed to be that one day and then I got a phone call uh, about a week and a half later from that same lady and she said, hey, Bay, Bay, you know, likes it, you could take direction and, and, and your look on set and all that, are you available to come back for three more weeks? And I said, sure. So I, you know, I, I, I did a week in Arizona, two weeks in Michigan. And then at the end of the, the second week, uh, a PA approached me and said, Bay wants to know if you'd like to stay on until the film wraps. And I said, sure. And so I ended up staying on the film until it wrapped and, uh, um, you know, did some consulting on it and acting on it. And it, yeah, that, that's where I, I would say my, 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 my career started, you know, in the film and TV industry. And it definitely wasn't what I was trying to do. I didn't know what I was going to do. Um, and, and I ended up still finishing my master's degree during that process, but, but that's where I found, I guess, my, my next calling. <laughs> Since acting in Transformers, Remy has starred in many commercials, worked on TV shows as an actor and advisor, and acted in another upcoming Michael Bay movie. He also found he had a gift for writing, and after completing his autobiography, he decided to try his hand at writing something different. After that, I was just like, man, I love writing. I just, I just love storytelling, and not just from the acting side, but being able to, 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 to be at the, at the inception of the story, and that's writing. And so I, uh, you know, I, I was just like, you know what? I, I can write another book, or I can write a film. So I wrote a film. So I wrote my first film, which was a spy thriller, and and that got a lot of buzz. And, and then I wrote a, another film, um, a, a historical black film, um, which we're shopping right now. Should hopefully get picked up in the next month or so. Um, and and that just started building. So I, now I write films, I consult on films and TV shows and commercials, and I and I do act. Uh, but I, I, I would label my Myself more of a writer than anything at this point. <laughs> Remy credits much of his success in the entertainment industry to the hard lessons he learned from his time in the Navy. Yeah, serving, serving was huge for me. I mean, it changed my life. Um, and, and being a part of the Navy, you know, and, and the SEAL teams as well, you know, is a huge part of my life. And it's something that um, no one could ever take away from me. You know, uh, having been able to wear the uniform and, and go overseas and, and, you know, and protect those who couldn't protect themselves, you know, that will always be with me. And uh, though I can't do the job anymore physically because I'm older now and I have so many injuries, but I'm, I'm, I'm grateful. I'm, I'm grateful for the opportunity I had that the Navy gave me. You know, they, you know I, I, I grew up as a man in the Navy <laughs> when you really think about it because I, I joined when I was, you know, turning 20 years old. And so the majority of my adult life has been the, the Navy and the military. So the Navy pretty much raised me. Despite his successes, Remy said he hasn't forgotten where he came from and the struggles he faced and does what he can to give back and try to help other at-risk kids from poor communities like the Bronx. Yeah, yeah, you know, I try to, I try to at least, at a minimum, minimum, once a month, um, do some type of outreach um, to inner city youth. Even if it's just once a month, even if it's just spending an hour with a kid who doesn't have a dad, you know, it's our duty to do something because we're still serving. Even though I don't wear the uniform, um, it's, it's, I still see it my duty to serve. And, you know, I, I specifically choose inner city youth because that's where I came from. And I understand the struggles that kids in the inner city go through, you know, being in single parent homes, you know, not having a lot financially maybe not knowing where their next meal is going to come. I could connect and relate to them because I come from that same environment. And so that's why I choose to, to, to serve. And, and I, I'm probably doing that for the rest of my life, you know, with, with everything that I have. Throughout what he calls an unexpected life, Remy said the most important lesson he learned was the value of hard work. If you do the work, you will be able to achieve whatever you want to achieve. That's one thing that the Navy taught me. You know, because again, I showed up to the Navy unable to swim, <laughs> skinny and, and, and uh, academically disqualified to be a SEAL. I did the hard work, 
the Navy showed, you know, rewarded me for doing the hard work, I was able to go to SEAL training and become a SEAL. So that's one thing, uh, hard work pays off. Uh, it, sometimes it may seem like it won't, but it, it does.